Making a plea for freedom, Dr. Farood Natar and his wife plan to be in court tomorrow asking a federal judge to release them as they fight charges related to female genital mutilation. The case against them and another local doctor is drawing attention tonight to a woman on a mission to stop this practice around the world. It was performed on her as a baby and she says it's time to end the pain that's been inflicted on women for thousands of years. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner joins us with her crusade. The two doctors charged are early in this criminal case, but could get 10 years to life in prison if convicted. The world is now watching, and this young woman says they are a game changer in her mission of awareness and changing ancient social norms, including right here in the U.S. I'm hoping that that would make um, this country wake up, our government to wake up and realize that this is something that's happening. She's gone around the world, shown in the movie Jaha's Promise. Every time your husband is having sex with you, when he's enjoying it, you are laying there in pain, and that's not fair to women. And she tells these students it's even worse. I have three kids, but each time I deliver my babies, they literally have to cut me open. And that's because I've been through FGM. The Centers for Disease Control says the U.S. numbers are staggering. More than a half million women and girls are at risk of having FGM performed on them. And the CDC attributes this change primarily to increased immigration from countries where it's practiced. It was done to Jaha when she was only one week old where she's from, the Gambia. People now see that this is not an issue that's happening to um, people in villages in Africa. It is something that's happening in the United States. It's doctors in this country who are cutting little girls. Dr. Jumana Nargawala is charged with performing FGM on two seven-year-old girls brought from Minnesota. Dr. Fakrud Natar is charged by letting his clinic be used after hours for the procedures. And his wife, Frida Attar, is charged with holding the hands of the girls. All three remain in federal custody. State is also moving to terminate their parental rights and yes, recently here. presented evidence in court they've cut their own daughters. It would have to be removed through um, a procedure which is part of the female genital mutilation. This has been going on for thousands of years. I've come home to try and do something to end it. Even if that means taking on my family, my tribe, in the whole of Gambia. In this documentary, Jaws Promise, it's bringing awareness to the world, showing the custom is deeply rooted. Some call it female circumcision. The circumcision normally came in to stop that too much of feeling the woman is having. This practice, it's something that I wouldn't wish even on my worst enemy. It has impacted me psychologically, it has impacted me physically, and um, it does something to your self-esteem as a woman. The doctors in Detroit belong to a community known as the Dawoodi Bora, based in India, and attended this mosque in Farmington Hills. But FGM is not limited to one region, one religion, nor one method. In Africa, both Christians and Muslims practice FGM. And the practice is not just driven by men, but also women, moms. The custom automatically passed on. They don't see anything wrong with it. Ja runs her nonprofit in Atlanta, where she also lives with her husband and three kids. They are limited in what they can do because this is not a popular cause that gets a lot of donations. I'm not rich, and managing a nonprofit organization with multiple staffs here in the United States as well as in Africa has been a huge challenge. And her personal mission can create serious conflicts, can make her an outcast with her own people. I'm not fighting against my culture. I'm not fighting against who I am. I'm not fighting against my religion. What I'm fighting against is this inhumane practice against young women. That's what I'm against. And I will always be against that. JAWS nonprofit SafeHandsForGirls.org works around the world. You can visit her website to learn more. And her movie, JAWS Promise, was shown tonight at the United Nations in New York City. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow, she has a powerful mission, and I know she's fighting against others who believe in that surgery, but of course, it seems like an months. inhumane yeah. practice. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you can argue what you want, I guess, but uh, I've got a daughter, you've got a daughter. Exactly. That's why she's on this mission. And the documentary, Jaha's Promise, has a very good ending. Jim tells us it's a, a victory for her, but of course, uh, we don't want to give it all away. But she's on a mission, and let's hope she completes it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Important stuff. Absolutely.